two out of every three Africans lives without electricity. Efficient, affordable reliable is now within reach. Essentially not by following the path of the Western world where we built power plants and strung people up and then they bought electricity from a utility. That's not working. It has not worked in Africa and much of Asia. And what's happening instead is a revolution that is decentralized power enabled because of solar energy doesn't have to be centralized. It can exist at the point where you need it. This Maasai herdsman charges his mobile phone using the solar panels on his roof, paid for using that same phone. It's changed my life. It's, it's great. I've got electricity. I can watch the television to get the country's news. My children can study and, and write at night. And it's because I've got this electricity. Most Africans have never installed landline telephones. Going straight to mobile is known as leapfrogging providing the additional benefit of access to financial services. Customers, they pay through installments. It's like a prepaid phone. So whenever you uh, use the system for a certain period of time, you have to pay through mobile money. And then when you have paid, you receive a code which you have to, to enter here. Conventional big grid electricity can work effectively in dense urban areas, but is highly inefficient and costly across the plains, deserts, rainforests and mountainsides of Africa. They will use solar energy not only for uh, lighting, not only for television and phone charging, but they will also use it for electromobility in the future. They will use it for refrigeration and um, uh, charging laptops and all the other devices. A similar all-in-one system is also being rolled out in rural and urban areas of Uganda to provide consumer services and new business opportunities for customers. Smartphones, Wi-Fi routers, tablets and income generating technologies such as hair clippers, water pumps and phone charging banks uh, all require power and, and we're solving that first problem. Phoenix International has doubled its customer base in Uganda in just one year to 100,000. The company is also constructing a new model so those customers can access a broad range of financial services. So for each customer, we create a credit score. And 70% of our customers are unbanked, so this is the first time they're able to generate a credit score. And with this credit score, we can then extend them access to credit for the other life-changing technologies and services that they need. A key goal of organizations like the International Finance Corporation here in Washington is to rid the world of dirty, costly, and frankly dangerous lighting sources like this homemade kerosene lamp. So the promotion of solar-powered LEDs like this makes a lot of sense. Leapfrogging in the economic development process enabled by disruptive technologies, disruptive business models, means that the upward slope in economic development and the improvement of people's lives has been profound. These off-grid technologies are becoming so efficient, practical and affordable that they're lighting up new development opportunities right across this vast African continent. Daniel Wrenches, CGTN, Washington.